In this video, I will guide you about the Unlimited Mission Box event, and show you all you need to know. So, be sure to watch the whole video. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Now that is out of the way. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is collect the Unlimited Mission Box in the special server storage on the lower left of the screen. Press the Collect button. You will see three different Unlimited Mission Boxes, Platinum, Lapis, and Dark Crystal Unlimited Box. Important note, you can only get one Unlimited Mission Box. So, make sure to pick the materials you currently need it. I recommend choosing the Lapis Unlimited Mission Box because Lapis is the hardest to farm than Platinum Stone and Dark Crystal, which you can easily get when doing nest missions. Now, after receiving the box, you will see the requirement to get the reward, which is to clear 7 World Daily Task. To see your daily task, press V, go to the Task List tab, and in there, you will see all of your World Daily Task. The first task is to like other players one time. Approach any player in the game, then click the Like button. The second task is to send Hero to Remote Dungeon Exploration one time. Press the End button, and in there, you will see the icon for Remote Dungeon Exploration. Click the icon, and you will see the different Remote Dungeon missions. Click on any mission and select three mercenaries to send. The next task is to clear Merchant Jamiwa's daily task. To get and clear the quest, you need to go to Red Lotus Palace Main Street. Press O, and search the term RL and join a party named TPRL. Important note. Don't forget to like the party leader as a sign of gratitude. After arriving in Red Lotus Palace, go and talk to Merchant Jamiwa and get the quest. To clear the quest, you will need to collect one topaz bead that can only be obtained after clearing any dungeon stage in the streets of Red Lotus Palace. After clearing the dungeon, you will get one topaz bead. Go back and head to Merchant Jamiwa to clear the quest. The fourth task is to clear the Catastrophe of Red Lotus Palace one time. Go and talk to Pathfinder Zephros and select Catastrophe of Red Lotus Palace. After clearing the Catastrophe of Red Lotus Palace, the next task is to clear one mission from the Mission Bulletin Board. To see more detailed information about the missions, press L, and select the Mission tab. You will see the location of the mission in the description in the mission list. For example, we need to go to Riverwort Wharf, enter the Dungeon Meteor Crash Site boundaries, and kill the boss Pixie Queen Permuta. The next mission is to clear the daily dungeon mission. Just follow the details to clear the mission. In my case, I need to go to a new Arendelle and clear the dungeon, Eye of the Goddess. The next task to clear is the daily nest mission. Just like the daily dungeon mission, follow the details of the mission. My mission is to go to Hermelt Port and clear Manticore Nest. After clearing the 7 world daily task, you can now open the mission box. Each lapis mission box contains 40 lapis and another lapis unlimited mission box.
Rinse and repeat this process every day to open the unlimited mission box. That's all for this guide. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more video guides like this. Again, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.